Hello friends and once again welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your host Jared Bronstein and as always make sure you are subscribed to the channel and ring that bell to get notified when we post more videos. Make sure you are leaving us comments down below in that comment section as well, either thoughts on the video or even some questions you may want answered. Today's video is a follow up for a video we posted just a few days back determining what would happen if the Titanic 2, the ocean liner expected to be an exact replica of the original, sank. And when I say replica, I mean in more ways than one. Aside from having the same name, the Titanic 2 is being built to look almost identical to the original. It's even going on the same route as the first one, after it takes off from China where it's currently being built. If you haven't watched the original video just yet, make sure to check that out to have a better understanding of what we think would happen if the Titanic 2 actually went down. In a short summary, we more or less covered the possibilities of how it would possibly go down, how the outcome would affect those involved for years to come, possibly for the rest of their lives, and what the similarities or differences between the first Titanic and second Titanic could possibly be. Again, I'd strongly recommend that you guys watch that first video if you haven't because, well, I'm not sure this one will make much sense without knowing what we spoke about in the first one. Either way though, if you decide you want to just skip ahead and watch part two, you're more than welcome. So for the follow up video, we wanted to see what you guys left us in the comments down below. Some of you of course talked about the possibility of a sequel to the film, while others left genuine comments about what you think the outcome would be. So let's start with a comment from Adam's House, who said if Titanic 2 did sink, I think there'd be little to no casualties. Well, from what we learned from the original, I couldn't agree more. For those of you unaware, when the first Titanic went down, there weren't enough lifeboats for everyone on board. What's even more tragic is half the lifeboats weren't at full capacity when they sailed away, meaning the number of deaths from the original Titanic could have been significantly lower. With updated technologies and safety procedures, I don't think there'd be any casualties, bearing something awful didn't happen on the ship, such as a fire. If that were to happen, there is of course the possibility of someone dying from being burnt alive or smoke inhalation, but speaking strictly on if the ship needed to be evacuated and everyone had a chance to get off, I think they would do so safely. What the heck am I doing here said, everyone, Titanic 2 will sink like the original Titanic. Titanic 2, but I have technology though? That's the exact point I'm trying to get across here. The original Titanic set sail in 1912, over a hundred years ago. If we think about how far we've come in regards to technology and how quickly it's evolving, there are going to be two completely different ships. The only similarities are going to be the name and of course the look because they're replicating it. But in regards to how it runs, I think the comparison will be night and day. Ultra H2O said, the possibility of Titanic 2 sinking is very low, as the hull of the ship is guaranteed to be thicker and can survive an iceberg strike. Now as much as I agree with that comment, I don't even think the iceberg is of a concern. All kidding aside here guys, I can tell you right now, there are a lot less icebergs now than there were in 1912. Global warming, climate change, whatever you want to call it, it's a real thing. The proof's there, so even though a ton of you made jokes about the ship hitting an iceberg, aside from the advanced technologies and of course safety precautions that would be taken to ensure the ship didn't go down, there's also a much lower chance of it being anywhere near an iceberg. Not to say that there aren't any icebergs left at all, but there's definitely a significantly less amount of icebergs than there was in 1912. As I said in the first video we covered, I genuinely don't believe this thing will go down, but I also get a bad vibe with it being named after the original. Something Xenorax seemed to agree with when they commented, call me superstitious if you will, but I wouldn't board a Titanic 2. Even naming it that seems like a bad omen. Call it what you want, but I think sometimes we just need to let things be. This is one of those things. If you want to make a ship that sails the same route, great. But why it has to be a replica and given the name Titanic 2, that's beyond me. Of course, it's a cash grab. What's more exciting? Boarding the Titanic 2? Or boarding a ship going the same route as the Titanic? I get it, it's a business move, and a smart one at that, but personally, I'm just getting bad vibes. Disco Saturn loves to do subtitled comedies and other things 24-7 said, If Titanic 2 sank, does that mean it will get a movie too? I think eventually, regardless of the outcome, it would be turned into a movie. If it's a successful journey, they'll probably make it about how after the first one went down, the captain's son made a vow to set sail like his father. Now just to clarify, it's unclear who's going to captain the ship. I'm just saying that could be a potential storyline for the film if there is a second one. If it were to go down, I think a movie would be made many, many years later. Similar to the first one. And before we wrap up this video, there is one more comment I did want to include from NGC7635, who wrote, how much you want to bet James Cameron will be on that maiden voyage? He'll probably have his own custom suite. That's actually a great point and it really wouldn't surprise me. He'd most likely have a camera crew on board and would shoot parts of the sequel, if not the entire thing, on the ship. Maybe even make it a vlog-styled feature film of some sort. I don't know, it just seems like it'd be a pretty cool idea. 
technically there have been a couple Titanic 2 films made, but none of them have been legitimate sequels to the first. One of the Titanic 2s, probably the most popular one, was released in August of 2010, and despite its name, isn't a sequel to the original. It was a low budget disaster film written by Shane Van Dyke, who also directed and started it. It received mixed reviews, but is considered a mockbuster of the original. Another popular clip that went viral was called Titanic 2, Jack's Back. Of course, this too was a parody of the original, which shows a frozen Leonardo DiCaprio being defrosted and brought back to life after his corpse, which was in a frozen block of ice, is lifted from the bottom of the ocean. At the time of this recording, the YouTube clip has amassed just under 51 million views. It's funny, but not a sequel by any means for those who were confused. And that does it for this one guys. You need to let us know in the comments down below if you enjoy these follow up type videos. Make sure you are subscribed so you never miss a video, share it with a friend if you enjoyed, and give us a thumbs up. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein, and we'll speak to you soon.